back to my channel today's video as you can see by the title is going to be vlogmas day 10 we do have a few productive things to do this morning and then we're going to come back and cook hopefully and i'm going to answer some of y'all questions really only one or two people ask questions but one person asked like five so i'll just answer those while i'm cooking but if you're new here hey girl my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so like i said today is december 10th um, it's 11.59 in the morning, so basically noon. And I don't like my lighting all too well, but whatever. Um, I have a few things to do. I have to go return this book. Y'all know I return Amazon purchases to um, Cole's Clothing Store. They do them free there, and I believe Whole Foods does them as well. You would think I would choose Whole Foods because it's a little bit closer, but I like to get a free 25% off coupon from the Cole's Clothing Store. Anyways. I'm returning this book because I only read like five pages. I'm returning it because I was reading it and one of the nurses was like, that I work with at the hospital, she was like, you know that book is online for free. And I was like, huh? And she was like, the book, like she had to listen to the audible of it and YouTube literally has the whole entire book. Been on there for like two or three years. So I'm returning it because she was like, for her it was kind of hard to like actually like just read the book. She would rather listen to this type of book. Um, and I could kind of see what she meant because I had to go back and reread what I was, um, reading. And also she says he kind of just repeats himself and I could kind of see that as well. So I'm just going to go return the book. It had got here a little later than I anticipated anyway. I'm really excited to read it, but I'm going to return it because I'm just going to listen to the, you know, audio version of it. Um, I like to listen to like a podcast or something while I go walk prints. I usually just listen to Kyle Lachey, her um, Fair Thoughts podcast, or I'll listen to Crime Junkie. Absolutely love Crime Junkie. And sometimes when I'm in the car, I don't always feel like just bumping music and listening to music. Like sometimes I be having my music turned all the way down to like three, to where I can just barely hear it. Um, especially in the mornings. When I begin off a 12 hour shift, baby, we ain't blasting no music, okay? Now, unless it's my last day of working, then we gonna blast music to turn up. But yeah, I'm gonna go return this. I also am gonna go to Play-Doh's Closet. I have some stuff that instead of just throwing away, and I just kind of want it out of my apartment, I usually post stuff on my Macari app. It's always listed in my bio. Um, I always post a lot of wigs and stuff like that. I used to post a lot on Poshmark, but I haven't really posted in a while. So whatever they don't take, I'll probably just post on there. Probably just throw out because I've had some of this stuff for a while. Like some of these shoes appear like this right here. These shoes I've had since I was in high school. I probably wore these like five times. Who's wearing these anymore? But... <laughs> They are probably considered this like workout clothes, like athletic wear. So hopefully they take these. If not, I'll post it and probably sell these for like $15. <laughs> Honestly, like at this point, I'm just ready to throw stuff out. And I'm kind of about to get into really getting my apartment together as well. Like after Christmas, um, like finishing up my apartment. And I'm about to do a whole room makeover in my guest room. So it's like some of the stuff like these. I'm taking these Gymshark leggings. I got these and they were way too small. These are brand new. Have not wore these. I tried them on and that's it. Brand new. Gymshark, baby, they be going for a good buck, okay, on the Macari app. So I'm just going to take them to play those because I really don't feel like the hassle of trying to upload it and then wait for somebody to buy. So, yeah, I'm going to take it. And then I also got some Adidas pants that I can't fit anymore like all of this is stuff that when I was like a hundred and like a hundred pounds 110 pounds or whatever I'm 145 and baby I can't fit no extra small no more so I'm taking a few other things I got a pair of like some jeans I got a Michael Kors purse um just stuff that I know like I'm I have no more need for like I'm not gonna wear this so I would like to you know give it to play those and then if not then i'll just probably try to sell it or whatever and then i always say i'll probably try to give it to goodwill but honestly i'm not even gonna lie like i don't i normally just put it in the bag and just throw it out and plus i don't even know where, like i don't even know how to go about that like giving stuff to goodwill and stuff if y'all do comment down below or like a shelter one of my friends always tell me like the women's shelter or something but i'm like I, I don't know how to go about it. Like, I don't know how to do none of that. Like, I would love to give it away to, you know, someone that needed something that could be very useful to someone else without having to pay for it. But it's like, I just really don't know how to go about doing none of that. So, 
yeah that's that um i have some receipts to scan that's always linked in my um bio as well a lot of y'all have been joining fetch because of me and baby thank you because y'all get points but i also get points as well um other than play-dohs i'm gonna go to play-dohs first drop off my stuff it's gonna take them about depending on how busy they are they just opened up at 11. so if they're not too busy it should take them about like 30 40 minutes so while i drop it off i'm gonna go to Kohl's to return this book and then maybe look around just a little bit to see if they got anything in there because when you like i said when you return stuff to Kohl's, they give you a they give you 15% off for during the holidays. They've been giving me 25% off. So I'm just going to look around and see if I can find anything. Um, other than that, that's really all that I have to do outside of the house. When I come back, it is Sunday, so I may like clean a little bit, try to straighten up. Um, I probably straighten up my guest room. I did want that to be like a whole separate vlog, but I just need to go ahead and just clean up so then I can really see how I really want to decorate that because I'm about to, I'm thinking of getting a little two-seater couch or i was thinking of doing chairs i don't know but like we're really about to like jazz up that room so yeah and i wanted to cook with y'all as well and answer some questions like a q a but um i wanted to do a roast i don't have any beef uh stock so i don't know how well that's gonna work out <laughs> and then i was gonna do my little what i call famous meal my little chicken meal but my chicken is frozen i was gonna do some little cheese dip little rotel cheese dip i don't got no chips <laughs> so it's like girl what, what are you about to eat and then i wanted to cook some sandwich or sloppy joe i don't got no hamburger buns so i'm like girl so i may just end up just having just to do a q a sitting down but i need to figure out what i'm about to eat i'm gonna have to probably stop somewhere i just hate always stopping because i thought i definitely bought hamburger buns on my grocery trip well, on my um, grocery pickup. So I have 20,632 points on my Fetch app. I haven't cashed them out yet because I want to get a Amazon gift. Well, I can get an Amazon gift card. So right here, I can get a $3 card, $5, 10, 25, or $50. I'm trying to get $50. So when I get to 28,000 points, I'll get a free $25 Amazon gift card. If I get the 55,000 points, then I'll get a $50 gift card. And I mean, I'm already at 20,000, so I'm like, I, I, I can wait out. So I'm either going to cash out at $25, or I may just try to stick it out and do $50. But I mean, we're at 20,000, so. Because baby, I scan every single receipt there is. I'm about to go ahead and pack up this stuff that I want to take to um, Play-Doh's closet. Um... I left my reusable bag downstairs as a Big Lots bag. So I think I'm just going to put this stuff in that. Like, I'm just going to carry this out just like this. I don't know if I should take the box or not. Like, do they be keeping the boxes for stuff? I don't know. I'm just going to keep it in the box. And I also had got these heels. I think I showed y'all from Shein that I can't fit. I wanted to wear them for my photo shoot, but they didn't fit me. So I'm going to take these and see if they want them. I'm pretty sure they're going to take the Adidas Gym Shark and the Michael Kors purse, obviously. And then, other than that, I really don't care. So I'm here. I'm about to put everything in my little reusable Big Lots bag. It's the easiest way I find to do that. five six seven eight nine i think i'm giving nine items and we're gonna see what they take i don't feel like taking my purse in so i'm about to just hide it down here real quick <laughs> um actually i think i'm gonna need my license uh, let me just take my purse uh, 
I've been here before. I, I don't know if they need your license every time or what. But I'm just gonna get in my license. All right. So let's take our stuff. I don't think nobody was in front of me, but girl, they don't seem too cheerful up in there, okay? <laughs> they is not coming in through with the holiday spirit. <laughs> but I'm about to go to Kohl's right now. I don't think nobody was in front of me. Like I said, it wasn't nobody up in there. Um, I got a text on my phone. They'll let me know when it's ready. So by the time I go to Kohl's and be done and come back, hopefully they're done. Like I said, I don't have anything else to do today. So... Yeah, I'm about to go head up the street to Coles, and baby, it is packed. Like, usually a Sunday, don't many people be out. Oh, everybody out. Okay. What is that? Oh, I forgot we got Five Guys right there. I need to go eat over there one day, cause Five Guys, they burgers be really, really good. They just cost a lot. All right, come on now. all right so literally by the time i was getting my refund from uh getting my refund from Coles for that book they texted me and was done they took five out of the nine items one thing i got is those heels some nike slides a pair of pants and like a little bodysuit uh they took the michael kors bag the nike shoes a skirt and something else i can't remember what i had girl but um girl got 30 30 some dollars got a whole mic and course purse and some nikes and everything <laughs> but whatever i mean 30 dollars better than trash so we're just gonna put this i'm about to go ahead and just uh oh, she's cute i'm about to since i'm right here by chase i'm about to just go put this money in my chase account because girl i don't carry cash so about to go put this in my account and then was Go 20. Ahead. I'm back home from <clears throat> my little outings or whatever. I'm about to make chicken and dumplings. Um, honestly, chicken with no dump. I mean, dumplings with no chicken. I have chicken, but it's frozen, and I'm needing to cook it like right now because I need to get a video to y'all by like. Honestly, here lately they've been going up at like eight o'clock. Normally it's supposed to be five o'clock, but I would like to get the video done recording and stuff within like the next hour or so and chicken and dumplings only take like 30 minutes if that um so i don't have any chicken breast or anything like that so i like to use like the chicken flavored obviously i like to use the um roasted chicken base and then i like to use cream of chicken and yeah it all it tastes like chicken and dumplings but there's no chicken in there with chicken broth and stuff so oh well <laughs> So that's why this isn't going to be like a tutorial on how to cook chicken and dumplings because, baby, I don't even got all of my supply. I just wash my hands and like clean the counter and stuff like that. So I like to use biscuits because I don't, I do like to make food from scratch. I'm not even going to lie. I like to make everything from scratch, but my own dumplings ain't it right now. So <laughs> what I like to do for the dumplings that is. I like to sprinkle a little bit of flour down. Like I said, me saying this on the tutorial, but then tell me y'all what I do. I'm gonna be answering a few questions that y'all, um, honestly only one to two people asked me. In my last vlog, I had said to, um, you can ask me questions because I was thinking of doing like a Q and A or whatever. So I'm gonna be answering some questions that, um, <laughs> this one subscriber had, um, asked me, she said, questions does boo ever complain about your recording <clears throat> and no he doesn't <laughs> usually if he's here and i'm recording like let's say it's like a sponsored video or something mm -hmm. kind of like let's say it's like a she in haul or something like that um no 
He'll be in here like watching a game. He can always find some type of game or something on TV. So he will usually watch something online. He'll either be on his phone, watching something on TV, something like that, girl. Um, no, he never complains about me recording. <laughs> um, and most times when we out like recording, like if you mean like, cause she commented that under the anniversary one, that's when I told y'all to ask some questions or whatever. Um, he'll usually be like, you ain't recording, you ain't recording, you missing this, you missing that. So honestly, he's the one who's encouraging me to record and stuff like that and not to miss stuff. So yeah, that's always nice. Um, but yeah, he don't ever, like there's no complaining because he knows this is what I love. This is my job as well. It's just something that I do. And also, if you get with somebody who complains about, you know, like something you love or your job or something like that, then that's not the person that you need to be, you know, be with or entertaining to even be with. So yeah, <laughs> but no, he doesn't complain. Um, the next thing she asked was, oh, she said, especially dates. You may have said this before. On dates, no, he actually, on the anniversary date, he was like, well, before we started chugging that drink, because I had put my camera away and I wasn't gonna record anymore. So before we started chugging those drinks, he was like, and you ain't even recording or you missed it. He said something before. And I'm like, oh, my bad, my bad. So then I put the camera out. Now, does he always want to be on camera? No but he dictates when and when he don't want to be on. Like, I'm not just about to throw the camera in people's faces. Like, y'all know, when I went and got my hair done by um that girl, I don't ever just pick up the camera and start recording. I will always ask. Like, even Lindsay, who did my makeup, I had went to her before, but I was like, you know, like, do you care if I record? She was like, of course not. So, anytime I'm about to record something, I will let everybody know I'm recording and or you know if they're okay with this this and that like for instance nikki's wedding um her now husband <laughs> he was uh you know crying a little bit during his vows and stuff like that and i had text her and i was like do you want me to cut you know any of this out or you know will he want me to cut this out like what do i need to cut out basically and she was just like you know nothing like it's fine <laughs> So yeah, I always ask, and Bay, I mean, we we in this for life, so he just gonna have to deal with it, but no, he definitely does not care at all. Next question is, any, what'd she say? Any new advice for new YouTubers? How is, okay, any new advice for new YouTubers? Um, The only advice I have is to just start. Like I get a lot of questions of how to start being a YouTuber, how to how to do basically anything concerning YouTube and just basically how to just start. And I'm like, honey, if you have a YouTube channel, like if you have an actual account to where you're able to like comment on people videos and stuff, you're a YouTuber. And people always laugh or be like, what? But it's like, it's literally as simple as that. If you have a active YouTube account, then you are you automatically have a youtube channel it's it's up to you to figure out what you're gonna make of that youtube channel like if you want to be a youtuber start posting videos it's literally as simple as that my first video i had took a screenshot i'll probably pop it up on here my first video was me in hawaii in like 2013 2014 and then i literally just recorded my prom vlog in like 2016 when i went to prom in high school and it got like 60 something thousand views of course it didn't get like that overnight but you know it started to take off so i will vlog me in college just i mean literally this is your own reality tv show not even really reality this is just your own you know this is your life this is your tv so with me i like to make memories and record memories so that's what kind of made me want to start youtube as well as my favorite youtubers at the time who really jump started it for me was raven elise and jayla corian so yeah, they made me want to be a YouTuber because I loved watching it when they was in college. When they was in college, I was in high school. So yeah, my advice though is just post the content, especially now people are really taking off and it's so much easier to actually start a YouTube channel, especially because they um, knock down having, you have to have, I think like a hundred, no, 500 subscribers. Yeah, 500 subscribers now to start getting monetized or 10 million views on your shorts videos. It used to have to be a thousand freaking subscribers. Now it's only 500. So definitely now is the time to start. I am gonna 
make a YouTube ebook as well. The ebook is definitely probably going to be about at the very least 30 pages because I don't want to leave anything out. Um, the U book, I do plan to price it at $50 because it's going to be very informative. And comment down below if y'all would like, um, like a like a video link as well because i know a lot of people don't like to um like read so within that book i was going to have a youtube clickable link to where you'll be able to click the link and then basically i'm like talking about everything that's in that ebook to where you can just hear it instead of reading it that's also why i'm going to price it at 50 because i'm like you're basically getting like two for the price of one um for the first like 24 hours when i do put it out there i'm going to have it um, be like $25 and then after 24 hours it's going to go up to uh, $50 so yeah I do plan on doing a YouTube ebook I do have I think I have a video kind of about starting a channel if I can find it uh, put it on the screen or something I'm not sure I, I usually just talk about YouTube tips literally just throughout my vlogs like I literally just give just free game you know like I got a lot of YouTube videos on free gaming so yeah, I do plan to make a YouTube ebook. My tip is honestly just to start. Next question was, how is the hair business going? I am super excited you asked because of Goro, I just shipped off, I just had seven orders yesterday to like ship off. <laughs> and for me, that's major. It's definitely more than I started with, obviously. Like I never shipped off seven like packages all at once like at the post office like it's usually like you know one or two each time i go or you know like an order or something you know it's it's not ever as much as like seven at once and i cannot wait to see where um it's hard trying to cook and talk at the same time but i can't wait to see where this hair business takes me because hair is definitely my passion um they's going to get into me talking about like what I do at work and stuff because people a few people still think I'm a nurse some people have commented one girl commented about me being a nurse and I'm like girl I didn't posted a whole video showing what I do at work like literally took y'all to work I am not a nurse I'm a patient care tech and we just got trained to be basically a phlebotomist because I now take my patients um labs like take their like draw their blood at work so patient care techs we get paid more than cnas and we do a little bit more than cnas and that depends on where you work like what city and state you're in because some girl was asking me about the process my process was a two weeks training and literally after two weeks we got put into the hospital and we just started working and we was on like a 90-day probationary period but anyways about the hair business it's going well. Um, I am about to stop vlogging stuff. That's what I want to talk to y'all about as well. I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to stop vlogging this at day 12, like 12 days of Christmas, because I am vlogging and uploading and stuff at the same day. And that's something that I did not want to do because I knew it'll just take a lot out of me and trying to come up with videos and stuff like just off the dome when I just be chilling anywhere at home. It's really hard. So with that being said, I need more time to plan stuff for my hair business because I do have I'm planning a big Valentine's Day like campaign or sale or whatever. And it's like I don't even have time to just sit and think about doing stuff because my time is consumed with vlogmas. Like y'all be seeing me shipping off orders and stuff like that in the vlogs, but it's like, I literally just don't have, you know, time to just sit down and just really plan out stuff for the business. And then y'all know, I still also have a real, you know, clock in job at the hospital. So I work this weekend and Friday and Saturday, I'm not going to give y'all no videos. Like, I'm just going to be real with y'all. If I was to be doing vlogmas Friday and Saturday, if I don't have anything pre-recorded, I'm not going to wait. Like, when I go to work, I go to work and come back home and sleep all day till like, 5.30 when I got to get back up and go to work. So, that's what I'm going to stop it in uh, 12 days. But I am still going to post videos every Thursday and Sunday. So, for the month of December, I think y'all are going to get about 19 videos out of me. That's including the vlogmas videos and my regular uploading days. So, yeah. And she also asked me what is my next goals 
um, besides quitting my hospital job. Um, that's definitely the goal. But I think even when I'm well off with the business, I might still just keep that job as like a, like PRN. PRN, I think you only got to work like once every like 60 or 90 days. And it's just to have that you know always stability in the back of your mind like obviously when i get like well well off with the hair business then you know i'm not gonna need it but you know another pandemic may happen or something to where everything shuts down again and then you know like what are small businesses like you know like me gonna do or whatever yeah i'll still be getting paid from youtube and stuff but you know like i will always like to have that little cushion there for right now so i'm not gonna completely quit unless i just become rich in the next year but I'm still gonna have that job as PRN so I can like always like fall back on that just in case I need, you know, like there's another worldwide emergency. Um, what is your next goal besides cleaning your job? But yeah, my hair business, I definitely plan to really take off with that. That is why I am deciding to stop vlogging this at day 12 because I do need time to actually prep and plan for this next um, like big hair campaign because I was gonna be doing a photo shoot, but I don't think I'm gonna do a photo shoot anymore, simply because the photo shoot will cost me about a thousand dollars to even just do the shoot. Like this makeup, hair, clothes, like the whole nine. And I'm thinking I just want to invest all of that money into getting inventory for y'all so I can have a lot of stuff on hand for my Valentine's Day sale. Um, so yeah, the future for me is just, I mean, continuing with YouTube continuing on my business journey and obviously, you know, not having to have my hospital job be like another main source of income for me, basically. And then she also, the other question she asked was, I'm not comfortable telling people, I know I'm trying to do YouTube. Did you tell family and friends when you started or was I a little shy? Me, I don't really like, I feel like I have a big family. My family's like, we're close or whatever, but like, I don't even really know half of my family. You know, like, I know that may sound weird, but it's like, I was like for, <laughs> I don't know what example I want to use. Like, we'll be at like family functions and I'm like, who is that? And they're like, that's so-and-so. I'm like, but, well baby, I don't know. So me, it's not something like, Oh, like I'm telling my family I'm about to be a YouTuber. Like, especially when I started, it was like 2016, and literally, well, nobody really just, you know, doing YouTube. Like now that we're in 2023, it's all about content. Like the internet is consuming us real, real bad. But like, like I, like now, it's all about content. So people actually is trying to make it like their job instead of some people still do it for fun. Some people only do it for a quick buck. And when people ask me about that, like one girl had DM me and she was like, uh, I don't know, think about doing YouTube channel stuff like that. I don't care to help, but she was like, uh, and is it paying good? Because if not, basically like, do is it paying well enough? Because if not, then I'm not even gonna try to like waste my time. But it's like, me, I believe in doing something that you love, like a job that you love. That's also why I started to sell hair and i stopped really just like trying to make a lash business because i started off with selling lashes and stuff and it's like that's not my passion that's not what i love and when people just dm me asking about youtube for like money aspects of course yes like we need to know like you know is it good enough to pay your bills obviously yes like people like we're making thousands of dollars that's with sponsorships all kind of stuff but if y'all hard not in it, if it's not, if it's not something that you really see yourself, you know, doing and enjoying and loving, I don't really think you're going to succeed. And I'm also going to be talking about that in my ebook as well, because doing something for a quick buck never really just works out in the long run, you know. So yeah, um, but no, I didn't tell my family that I'm doing YouTube or whatever. I got my family on Facebook. If they see me posting videos, then they see me posting videos. Like even at family functions, like no one ever just says like, you know, just talk about YouTube and plus. I'm the youngest out of all my brothers and sisters, so nobody, like my older family, like my aunts and uncles and stuff like that, most of them probably don't even really understand, you know, like what a YouTuber is and stuff like that. So I don't, I didn't have to just be like, oh, like I'm starting YouTube, you know? Now, if you're younger and you want to tell your parents that like, if you don't want to go to college or something like that, like, oh, I want to be a content creator, this, this, and that, 
maybe they will understand depending on how old your family is but me no i didn't tell nobody like it literally just started off as a hobby and then i started to get i think i started getting paid when i was a freshman in college and then i got my first youtube check and i was like oh, okay that's cool but even then i wasn't consistent i didn't start being consistent with content until the year of 2020 when my video went viral i got like almost 400,000 views on that video of me moving into my first apartment by myself so that's when i was like oh yeah i think i think my first little check because my checks before then was only like fifty dollars a hundred dollars two hundred dollars but after my video started like that first week my video went viral i saw my um pay go up to like a thousand dollars and then like 14 50 and i'm like oh baby like yeah we about to keep doing this but even still now it's literally just a fun hobby like it's nothing that i'm doing to just you know get paid for so i used to be on here talking talking to myself starting from zero getting paid nothing and i'm still doing the same thing to this day so i just feel like it's something that got to be in you and not on you you know so that's just my take on it and i think that was all of her questions as well let me check and was i shy i'm still shy to this day um a lot of people always say how are you shy and you're a youtuber because baby all i do is talk to this camera like ain't nobody in here i ain't talking to nobody but a camera and prince and he probably think i'm insane <laughs> so i'm shy but i can i can talk to a camera you know because it's i'm an introvert so it's a lot easier to just talk to myself right now and then go back edit or whatever and then post it on the internet whereas if i was to be like let's say i go live i've never went live on anything instagram facebook youtube i thought about doing it on youtube though as one of my vlogmas days like maybe like day 12 and then i could just talk to y'all in like real time but i've never went live on anything i'm too shy for that i don't like it so with me it's easy for me to vlog it's easy for me to be a youtuber because i talk to myself all day anyway you know like not like in a crazy way but like you know i'll just be here talking i got so much on my mind or whatever so it helps me in a way as an introvert now if you're someone who can't even talk to a camera, baby, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but I say go for it. You know, there's so much money in the world for all of us. We all dating and doing the same thing. We all selling hair. We all selling lashes. We all selling clothes. We all YouTubers. We all, you know, we, we, everybody's always doing something the same. So go for it. It's too much money in the world to just give to, you know, one person. Like, baby, look at Kylie Jenner. Her and her sister both got a makeup line. Like, come on now. <laughs> So it's just, it's just so much you can do, but yeah, I hope I answered all your questions. Good. No one else asked me any questions and my camera is about to overheat as well. So I'm going to leave it at that. Anything else y'all um, want to know, I can answer in the comments. Um, so yeah, my camera's about to go off on me. So I'll talk to y'all probably tomorrow and I've been talking for like 10, 15 minutes. Um, my dumplings, the only thing I do is just. Put all my stuff in there, add some milk and butter, put my um dumplings or biscuits in there, let it cook. If I had chicken, I would be putting that in like two minutes after. I, uh, someone told me not to put milk in the door, but I don't really use milk like that, and I don't leave my door open for that long, so it's fine, because I don't got nowhere else to put it. But yeah, I usually add in my chicken after about two minutes when I dump my dumplings in, and then just let that cook, you can add what you want. That's my chicken and dumplings, so. Yeah, and I need to use this milk because it's saying the daily race, but I think it expires like on the 15th. So I'll see y'all in my next vlogmas video, which is tomorrow. I know y'all gonna hate that vlogmas is ending on day 12, but baby, it's just too much. Like I literally have no more video ideas. I do have ideas, but I need I need to do the videos at my time. Like I wanna do, I keep saying I'm gonna make up in my guest room. I don't even have the stuff here to do that yet. So it's like I can't really just base videos off of that because i gotta wait for it to be shipped out and stuff so we're still gonna be going this normal normal programming for every thursday and sunday but i think i am gonna have to go ahead and do the 12 days of christmas for 12 vlogs and then just let that be it and maybe i don't measure nothing okay learned that from from my aunt's uncle and my mama we just we just cook with love over here <laughs> so yeah if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And then to my next video, which is tomorrow. I'll see you love this then. Bye, guys.
Now, if I had my chicken in here, this would be so fire, but it still smells like chicken. It's gonna taste like chicken because I use this as well as the cream of chicken. And yeah, it's fine. I eat dumplings like this all the time without the chicken, I don't care. But ooh, we it smells so good up in here, guy. And I like to use this plate bowl for chicken and dumplings because it just makes eating it so like it holds all the juices, but it's still like not like an actual like deep bowl. As well as the can of cream of chicken have little bitty chicken pieces off in here. So girl, I just love chicken and dumplings. It's so good. Now these chicken and dumplings ain't like the kind my auntie on my dad's side be cooking, but baby, it'll 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 do. Sleep. So, yeah.